LibreOffice is a free and open source office suite from the Document Foundation. If you are familiar with the Microsoft Office, you should be able to learn how to use the LibreOffice quite fast. LibreOffice contains six component programs that provide most things you need from an office suite. Document, Spreadsheet, Presentation, Drawing, Formula, Database. To download the LibreOffice, go to worldwideweb.libreoffice.org. Then, click Download. Download the LibreOffice. Choose your operation system. And then, download the installation file. Once you complete the installation process, you should be able to start the LibreOffice immediately. Once you have finished the installation of the software, you can open it. And the first time, the screen will show like this. You have the file menu here. Once you open it, you will see a lot of drop-down menu. And new which is mean you can create a new document, such as the text documents, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, formula, or database. Or you can open the same file, for example, the ODT file. The ODT file is the file created by the LibreOffice itself. But you can also open other file types such as the Microsoft Office document file or Microsoft Office Excel file or the PowerPoint file, something like that. It all support here. Now let's try to create some new document. Let's try first with the text document. LibreOffice Writer contains a lot of basic functionality for create the basic text document. For example, you have it here, the style, so many style. If you need the title, this is the style that you want. Or you just need a text body or just the heading, something like this. And there are so many fonts that you can choose. Also, you can modify the text size, text style, the italic, the underline, or even the style too. You can make some highlight color also. And what else? You have the option to make the bullet list or the number list, something like this. Or you can insert several things, insert table, insert picture, insert chart. Also, page number, footnote, endnote, something like this. So, and also some basic shape like this or even this. So, let's try to create some example here. In this example, I would like to create some short note about how to take care of your dinosaur. So, let's start with the title. Okay, here I want this one to be very big. I can make this as a title or heading one. Let's make a title. And then I want the dinosaur to be highlighted. So I click it here. And then I would like to insert some horizontal line. So I click it here. Next part is supposed to be the instruction. So I would like it to be a little bit bigger than the text body. So I just choose heading 1, instruction, and make it italic, okay. And I would like it to have some color here, blue, okay. And the next part is the text body. I would like it to be at least so I click it here, number list. I don't like the italic, just the normal one. So I decide it here, here too. Okay, what happened here? I may misspell it. So let's check. 
okay here vaccinate is wrong so just correct it okay now it's correct then I would like to insert some picture so this can insert some picture you can insert it from here insert image or you can just copy and paste it here some picture that I would like to make a copy into the document so I will just call the snipping tool and then copy it and paste into the document here as you can see the picture is quite big so let's resize it once you resize you may notice that the format of the document look a little bit messy so I would like to make it more beautiful so just click at the picture here and select property and you can see at this one wrap so just choose the layout that you like your picture to interact with the text so I just select it here none so as you can see the picture and the text file are not overlap to each other so I will just uh, adjust it a bit so it's look more beautiful and you can increase the font size here just make it 14 yeah. so now it's look more promising and I would like to increase some um, page number I would like it to be here at the header so I just click at the header and I would like to have the page number on the right hand side so I just click align to the right and insert the page number here so the page number automatically appear here at the header okay next I would like to insert some watermarks so let's come to here format and then watermark you can put anything here I will put example and then this is the font angle transparency okay so I will just put here okay example So this is how to create the basic text document with the LibreOffice Writer. I would like to add some more information about the font here. If you would like to add an additional font into this one, you just need to put your desired font into the system font folder. If you are using Windows as an operation system, just come to the search window and type font. This folder will appear, so just copy the desired font and put into this folder, that's it. There are some more settings related to the language. Just come to the tool, select options. You can see here, language settings. This line, the local setting. If you're changing the local setting to other language, this will influence the currency format and the pattern of the day. For example, if I change to um, Russian, the default currency now change to Ruben, something like this. And this section below, default language for documents, this section will set the language for the spelling check. The first line is for Western alphabet. You may want to change it to any other language that using the same Western alphabet. For example, you may change to Spanish. So it's perform the spelling check according to the Spanish rule. The second line is where you set the spelling check rule for the Asian language. For example, I may select the Chinese simplified. The third line is where you set the complex text layout rule for any language here. For example, I select Thai. Some of the language they have some rule that some character may not allow to be next to other characters. So once you select the language in this line and check it, the LibreOffice Writer will follow the language rule. Okay.
and you also have an option to set the default font for each specific language. Just come to here, Libra Office Writer, and you will see that there's three lines that you can set the font for. The first one is the default font for Western alphabet. The second one is where you can set the default font for the Asian language. And the third one is where you can set the default font for the complex text layout language. Of course, you have to select the language here first. Okay. Okay, that is how you create a basic document with a LibreOffice Writer. And I also show how to do some basic setting of language and font. So now let's close it. So let's begin to check some other modules.